Most people do not realize how many disasters are taking place all throughout the year that may mean nothing more than a blip on the news, even if they make the news. But for these survivors that have lost everything, this is their world. We know that it's inevitable, right? Natural disasters are, are happening, and we don't have any control, uh, any way of, of stopping a natural disaster, but what we do have control of, over is being prepared. ADRN has made it very easy as a volunteer to just walk in and sit with the survivor and just listen, you know, to understand what they're going through. When the survivor comes in, we want them to feel special and that they feel that welcome, open arms, um, and they're able to really open up. They've just gone through such a difficult time. Um, I mean, some disasters, if I start to tell, it's just, they're unbelievable. You can't put a price tag on that. Just to have a response team, to have people there to listen. We all want to be heard. We all want to be seen. It's really the reality of being present. It's a ministry of presence. And so not only do we provide the gift cards, which is a, a needed first step immediate need, and the, the reality of the clothing and things like that, but again, it's that ability for us as an organization to bring hope into crisis, but really to take them to their next step of connecting to the local church. Right? The church is the body of Christ, and ADRN is comprised of 200 churches, and we are all one serving the community you know, through the Spirit of God and through the resources that are donated to ADRN. But Jesus tells the story of a shepherd, you know, a good shepherd, a hundred in the flock. He's got 99 with him. He'll leave the 99 to go after the one. And we want to represent the, God's heart in going after the one every single time. From the person that cleans, from the person that greets, from everybody volunteers in the phone center, of their hearts and and their desires is nothing less than to give their all for just the chance to help someone to restore their lives. And this is done, you know, every day. It's not just through one ginormous disaster, you know, like Katrina. It's every day. There's phone calls coming in every single day. They're working on people's lives, trying to build and rebuild their lives every single day.